Hello, I'm Kay Foley of This Week with George Stephanopoulos, and I'm joined today by Fox News anchor Greta Van Susteren. And since we believe all politics is social here, we're putting some of your Facebook questions to Greta. So thank you for joining us. Happy to be here. And our first question comes from Scott Wallace. He asks, how did your law background prepare you for TV? Oh, great question, Scott. And this is what I always do to all my journalist friends. I say, unlike journalism, I took an exam of competency called the bar exam, where journalists, you just raise your hand and say, I'm a journalist. But uh, kidding aside, is the one great thing about uh, legal education is that we spend three years studying the difference between opinion and fact. It's a very different line, and that oftentimes gets blurred in the news between opinion and fact. Secondly, is I have a very strong aversion to the overuse of anonymous sources. Remember in the courtroom, you take the witness stand, you identify who you are, you raise your hand, you promise to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And so, you know, facts are very important to what, at least what I hope I do in my business. I don't like that blurred line between opinion and fact. And just the, the strictness of our legal education, I think, helps that. But uh, one other final thing is that we have a code of professional responsibility. And uh, journalism, well, <laughs> I don't know. They police each other by, you know, by, by jumping all over each other when they get it wrong. But in the, in the legal business, there's actually a code of professional responsibility making you commit to a certain behavior and certain uh, uh, parts, of, parts of your work. Well, that kind of segues nicely into the next question, okay. which is Kevin G. Smith's. Does her own opinion on a topic ever come into play with the question, she asks? Kevin, it certainly does, and, um, and I hope that it's obvious when it does because, uh, look, you know, there's, there's news gathering and there is opinion. And the more dangerous thing is when you think someone's news gathering and they're injecting their particular opinion. Um, yes, of course it does. I mean, there's certain things that outrage me. I mean, there's, I've got some, I'll tell you one thing. You want to push my button? Talk about waste and fraud in the government. Because for the life of me, I can't understand why there isn't more chasing down of waste and fraud in the government. So, yes, you're going to hear my opinion on that. And I hope it's loud and clear. And I know you're smart enough to know when I'm talking facts and when I'm talking opinion and my opinion. Great. Um, Denise Reeves asks, I would like to know what your most memorable interview is. Denise, when I was at CNN many moons ago, which is in the 1990s, I was guest hosting for Larry King, and it was, uh, the, the guest was the president of Romania. And as you might have guessed, I don't speak their language of Romania. And unfortunately, they forgot to put the translation in my ear, and I was so new at it and so terrified that I wasn't smart enough to just say, let's take a break, I can't, I don't have the translation, and we'll be right back. Instead, I panicked, I went through the entire interview where I'd ask the President of Romania a question, I'd ask it over here, he'd respond as soon as he stopped talking. I had no idea what he said. I would ask another question about a topic over here. It wasn't really very linear, and the reason why I did such disparate questions is because I was afraid his answer, which you were getting at home in English, was I just answered that question, or I just said that. So I did an entire segment with the President of Romania and um, I never heard I never understood a single word he said because I didn't have the translation and I was too new too freaked out that I just went with the flow afterwards did you get the translation did you see no, no. It's like, I, was, I was so panic-stricken I'm still even nervous thinking about it right now oh. it was horrible it's like I was a total panic I was look I was guest hosting for Larry King yeah you know? that's pretty terrifying and the last question comes from Nicholas Koita who asks who is her dream political guest on the show easy, easy answer Bo the first uh. dog you know I love animals I'd love to be on animal planet you know an animal planet not dealing with death and destruction yeah. of people fighting with each other all the time so to the extent that Bo is a part of politics um, I'd love to interview Pope Bo, plus the fact I love the fact that he's, uh, he looks like he's wearing white knee socks. Have you yeah, seen the way so he looks? Cute, so yeah. Bo's my favorite. Um, in terms of politics, you know, I've been around the block um, about 20 years in cable news, and uh, I think I've interviewed just about everybody. Mm -hmm. And I really like the politician who actually gave me the straight answer. You know, a lot of politicians, you ask the question, and the politician begins to answer it, and you could probably answer the rest of it yourself yeah. because you get these sort of uh, talking points. So mm -hmm. it's hard to interview politicians, but it's really hard to sort of drive in and get them to give you the real answer, mm -hmm. not the one that they have planned to tell you. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us, and thank you to all you that submitted your questions. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at ThisWeekABC, and like us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash ThisWeekABC.